Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You are watching the Artistic Talent Show with your host, producer and artist, Melvin Isaac. Today I will be discussing two topics. The first one would be Facebook surprise giveaway and the second one will be African American Journey. So let's start with the first one. Hey, I'm here in Brooklyn at my art studio. Let me ask you a question. Are you an art lover? Do you love art as much as I do? Well, I'm Melvin Isaac and I'm surrounded by my artwork that I make here at my Brooklyn Art Studio. This is my business and I love working with oil, pencil, pastel, acrylic on canvas and paper. I love painting African culture heritage art that adds beauty to your home. Now, take a look around at some of my art that I work with. Look at all the beautiful colors and the way it makes you feel. Check this out. The cool thing is I give away these art on a greeting card along with a surprise box of toys every month. This is my artwork on a greeting card along with a surprise box of toys. Here is all my greeting cards which have my artwork on it and in the inside is a quote from famous people. Here's one of the greeting cards uh, by Marcus Garvis. A people without the knowledge of their past history or culture is like a tree without roots. Okay, here's another one by Pablo Picasso. Every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once we grow up. Pablo Picasso. If you want to get involved with my giveaway and have a chance of winning my art on a greeting card and surprise box of toys, click below, go to my Facebook page and like and follow so you know when I'm in a live giveaway announcement. Every month I pick three winners and you might be or could be a winner. Click below, like the page, that way you can see all of what I share with my Facebook fan every day. I love to add beauty to your life and sharing inspiring things and tips about great art gallery, exhibits, and art shows. If you are an African culture American lover, you are going to love my page. Click below and I'll see you there. So the second one would be starting up with African American Journey. Now these will be a series of artwork, uh, about eight of them on a 16 by 20 canvas. And uh, I'm going to start off, the majority of African Americans are the descendants of African who were forced into slavery after being captured during African wars and raids. They were purchased and brought to America as part of the Atlantic trade. 1619 in America, 400 years ago, Africans arrived in Virginia. Now, this is our history as African American uh, people. You won't see a lot of this taught in schools, the history behind this, but we must understand our history in order for us to grow and move forward. There is an old saying is that from slavery to the White House. And as you remember, we had Shirley Chisholm was the first black woman that ran for the White House. And we had 
Barack Obama that was president in the White House. And now you have Kamala Harris, which is the vice president that's in the White House with the president, Joe Biden. So this is our history. And this is things that we should know and start to understand and look up in order for us to continue on growing. So that's my first painting and showing you how we was taken from our homeland. And then we was brought to the next painting, which is on the bait flower. So here we are taken from our homeland and put on the Mayflower. And I've just started this painting and you will see how we was forced on the Mayflower uh, by chains and whips and a lot of us uh, didn't make it to America because it was so disgusting, sleeping in filth, thrown overboard. I mean, you could just name it. But that's our history again. All right, so and let's get started. This is a continuation of the uh, Artistic Talent Show. I have a website. It's entitled The uh, Black Art Perspective as well as a Facebook page entitled mm -hmm. Melvin African Culture Art. Mm -hmm. And on that mm -hmm. Facebook page, I am giving out every month a uh, free surprise gift with my, my art on a greeting card along with a uh, surprise box of toys for kids. So this is every month that I'm doing this and uh, the way you want to get involved with this is go to my Facebook page, Melbourne African uh, Culture Art, like it and uh, send a message and I will respond to it with the link and when I will be giving out the uh, promoting my free uh, surprise gift and box of toys. So basically that's it. So what I'm doing here is doing the uh, the series of African cultural art and this series is started off with the first one was on a uh, 16 by 20 oil canvas stretcher and that started off leading up to here, which is thought by our ancestors, African heritage, uh, being taken from our homeland. And we, the result was going to the Mayflower. So that's where I'm at right now with the second painting. I got a lot more painting. But each one of them is going to tell a story, and it's a good story because they're not teaching this in school. And uh, it's educational for the kids, for adults, for anyone, and uh, it's, it's very good. So let me begin by uh, depicting the uh, people that's here now and finish them up. And then I will uh, get to the next painting. So, while I'm doing this, I want to play some uh, uh, some comedy and jazz, where you can uh, listen to it. You know, while I'm doing this, very good. Okay, so that's it. You can listen to the jazz and the comedy while I'm doing this. Hey man, I got I got one daughter. My daughter, 21 years old. My daughter been in school for the last four years. Anaheim, the last four years of my life, me and my wife been swinging. But I had to fuck up two years ago. I got three new additions in my fucking family. 
three new fucking kids. My sister kids. You know, I ain't shame. We family. We family. You know, my sister on drugs. Yeah, I ain't shame to tell you. I got her kids. You know, some of your family members fucked up. You gonna be looking at me all fucked up. Your family fucked up too. I'm just having to tell you about it. Yeah, my brother gonna call me and say, man, they're gonna take the kids. So, you know, I said, no, I couldn't have that. I came to court. The judge was going to separate the kids. You know, I should have let the judge do that, but I didn't know. <laughs> no, I'm giving these motherfuckers back, man. I ain't scared to skate. These motherfuckers get on my fucking nerve, man. Three fucking new kids in my damn family. Two, four, and six. Ooh, shit, come help me keep these motherfuckers. These <laughs> ooh and four. And that two-year-old, she the motherfucker. See, that bitch, she, the, she worship the devil. She the worker for the devil. Oh, the four-year-old, my sister must have really been getting high with her because she don't say shit. All she do is look at you. I told her the other day, I said, bitch, if a fire break out, boy, you better have a whistle or a horn or something. Or you're going to be a burner up bitch fucking with me. I ain't got time to for no motherfucking law like this and no goddamn fire. Talk! Deaf mute. Yeah, yeah, talk! Fire blazes here, 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 fuck that, fuck that. Fuck that, fuck that. And, 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 and the six-year-old, he old homosexual. Oh, shit, don't no six-year-old walk all like this here. Crying all the fucking time. Usually that's what's wrong with, that's what's wrong with parents today. You act like you don't see shit, you don't know shit. You see your fucking kid. You know your kid ain't no goddamn good. This boy's a fag, six years old. He gonna be a sissy. Just like on Good Time, Michael. Oh, no. Fuck that. Fuck that. You knew Michael was a fag when he was singing When You're Young and Blue. I said, that motherfucker's sissy. He a sissy. Quit bullshit. Quit playing with yourself. Tell the fucking truth. Truth will set you free. So you play game. I ain't burning. Mac ain't playing no goddamn game. The boy's a sister. I it hurt my heart. Ain't nobody no sister in our family. This is the first one. You know, and the two-year-old, he do whatever the two-year-old tell him to do. Two-year-old the boss. See, that's the one you gotta watch. That's that little bitch there, something else. That's how I talk to a little bitch, little bitch. Fuck that. Time time out with these kids murderers today. These mother kids are kids. You ain't gonna kill me, I'm gonna kill them. I can see y'all reading Ebony, right? And I can hear you talking. It's a shame how Bernie Mac fucked up those kids. Walking around the house two, three o'clock in the morning, don't even go to bed and shit. I have my pillow, my gun around on my motherfucking pillow. They come in the bedroom. I said, I said you think, I said, what the fuck you walking walk around for? It's time about I can't sleep. I said, keep fucking with me. Keep fucking with me. Keep fucking with me. I came in the house the other day, man, one o'clock in the morning. She gonna send the motherfucker one six-year-old downstairs for some milky cookie. He going, I'm going upstairs, he coming down. He gonna walk past me like I'm a visitor, you know. He just gonna walk past me like I ain't shit. I'm babysitting. I said, where you going, dude? To get some milky cookies. That's how he said it. I said, I wanted to hear him say it again. I said, what? To get some milky cookies. I say, you little bitch, yeah, it's too goddamn late for the motherfucking milk cooking. Faggot, go on back upstairs. Switch your punk ass back upstairs. Yo. Yeah, you can smack all you want, motherfucker. Put my foot in your ass. That's how I talk to him. He gonna go upstairs in the room, the two of you are gonna say, where the cookies and shit, you know. He gonna tell her, him downstairs. Who the fuck is him? Like I ain't got no name and shit, you know what I mean? She gonna tell him, I gonna get this shit myself. She gonna come downstairs, old bow-legged motherfucker, show my bow leg coming down there, looking like a raccoon and shit, you know what I mean? I started to shoot that motherfucker, you know? She gonna open the refrigerator, get a little ladder. I said, what you getting ready to do? Get some milk and cookies. I said, didn't I tell your motherfucking boy you couldn't have no goddamn milk and cookies? No, it's too goddamn late. Go to back the fuck upstairs when you get fucked up down here. She gonna look at me all up and down like I'm short, you know. 
Now you know when somebody look at you like that, man. You know what the fuck that mean on the street. So I said, well, I said what the fuck are you looking at? Bust a move, bitch. Bust a motherfucking move. I ain't lying. She gonna walk past me. Whatever, whatever. You better walk it off, bitch. You better walk it off. You motherfucker, you. You are listening and watching the Artistic Talent Show with your hosts and artists. My name is Melvin Isaac. I have a website which is entitled Black Art Perspective and a Facebook page, Melvin African Culture Art. Every month I will be starting a surprise giveaway where I will be giving away my art on a greeting card along with a box of toys for kids. And this will be on my Facebook page, Melvin African Culture Art. And all you have to do is go to my page and like it and leave a message and then I will return your message with the length of when I will be given the uh, surprise uh, giveaway. So it'll be something for everyone and uh, I'm pretty sure you would like all the stuff that I'm giving out every month for free. All my art was it be on a greeting card and I will be giving that out as well as a surprise box of toys for kids. Now, I hope you continue and join yourself with the comedy. And then I would uh, put some music as well and back to uh, comedy. So this is just to break things up while you watch me painting uh, a series of African culture heritage uh, work on a 16 by 20 oil stretcher canvas. And this is letting you know uh, how my ancestors, uh, how we was forced here to America from our homeland to the slave ship to the auction and to all kinds of other stuff so all this will be on a canvas and I'm painting it right now and while you listening and watching me uh, this is what I'm doing and this is very educational for kids and everyone because this is not being taught into the uh, schools so this is for you so I want you to continue watching this enjoy the uh, comedy and the music while you watch me paint and give you the education of our culture of how we was forced and brought here because you have to understand or know your history and your culture because if you don't, uh, you would be misled to where you're going now, especially if you have reached high places into your employment and maybe the president. So this is great for you. So continue watching the show and uh, enjoy the music and I will come back on uh, a little later to let you know about the same uh, thing in terms of surprise giveaway on my Facebook page.
Now you get this shit out of my goddamn house right now. No, get it out of my goddamn house. Or next time I'm gonna tell you, get all this shit out of my house. Leave me a half ounce and get the rest of it out of my goddamn house. My mind was old school. When I was growing up, it wasn't no need for no Amber Alert. Hell no. Nah. I wasn't getting abducted back then. Hell no. Nah. When my mom put that Vaseline on my face and I could look shiny and new at that bus stop, she gave me some real good advice. When your ass get off that bus at 4.30, I want you in that house. And I mean in that house. I don't want you to let nobody in the house that I get off work at 9 o'clock tonight. You got it? I got it. You know what I'm saying? You know how you got to work it out. I got it. When I get off that bus at 4.30, I get that house, lock that door like Fort Knox, go get me some chocolate milk, and watch my favorite cartoon, Thundercats. I be drinking my chocolate milk. This is the greatest episode I've ever seen in my life. That doorbell ring, though. Bing, bong. I'm like, who could that be? I go to go, who is it? Baby, it's your grandma. Open the door, it's your grandma in the house. Sorry, Grandma. My mama said not to let nobody in the house. And she made nobody in the house that she get out of work at 9 o'clock at night. Oh, baby, now Grandma came all the way over here to see you. You know you can let your Grandma in the house. I love you too, Grandma. Now, baby, I done got two buses to come over here. Uh, I love Grandma. I love you too. My, my mama said not to let nobody in the house. <laughs> she meant nobody in the house. She get up work at 9 o'clock at night. Now you welcome to catch both them buses back to your house. Are you welcome to sit on the porch <laughs> and wait till she get off work at 9 o'clock at night? <laughs> but could you please excuse me? I got to get back to my Thundercats <laughs> and my chocolate milk. <laughs> And I go back and sit down. Go, Panther, go! <laughs> and next thing you know, the doorbell rang again. Bing, bong. What does she want? Nah! Oh, man, dude. Who is it? Boy, it's your daddy. Open that damn door. You got your grandmama out here sitting on the porch. You open that door and let both of us in right now. Sorry, Daddy. Mama said not to let nobody in his house. She met nobody in his house since she get off work at 9 o'clock tonight. Boy, you know I live there. Apparently not. <laughs> you don't have no key. <laughs> I'm going to whoop your chunk ass when I get in that house. Well, that would be around 9 o'clock tonight. <laughs> Could you please excuse me? I got to get back to my chocolate milk and my Thundercats. You know, my mama old school, that Amber Alert was going on when I was growing up. You know what that shit was going on now. Growing up, my mama used it as a scare tactic. She was like, see them kids' names in life? Huh? You see them kids' names in life? Let me tell y'all something. Keep up. 
And y'all names gonna be in life, but guess what? I ain't looking for nab nothing of y'all. Like, damn, that's why I wish I had a white mama. White mama be looking for their kids three years later. Maybe out in the woods, out in the woods, yeah, yeah, out in the woods with the blood hound, like, Carolyn! Ruth! Carolyn! Ruth! Say something, honey! Ruth! Make a bird noise if you can't talk! She loves birds! Ruth! She is not my mama. My mom made me so scared. I don't even want to come out the wood. She be up just like now. Nah. We done been out here in 45, 50 damn minutes. Yell your damn name. Now I know you know your damn name. Got these damn police calling my new job that I just got. Word, I, your son in the woods, your son in the woods. I'm like, how his ass get the goddamn wood? Well, we live in Paige there, huh? Yeah, yeah, you know, I've been wearing. God, I'm coming out here, I'm missing my job. I might lose my damn job. I got the damn these dogs, the police, and the FBI out here. I don't know how much none of this shit costs. <laughs> then you got the eyewitness news out here, got these cameras on me, make me look like I'm an unfit mother. <laughs> Let me tell you something, little boy. You best be dead. Cause when you come out of them goddamn woods, I'm gonna kill your ass. Now, I'm gonna count to three. If you ain't out of these woods at the count of three, you live here. One, there he is. Let's go. Talent show with your host and artist. My name is Melvin Isaac. I have a website which is entitled Black Art Perspective and a Facebook page Melvin African Culture Art. Every month I will be starting a surprise giveaway where I will be giving away my art on a greeting card along with a box of toys for kids. And this would be on my Facebook page, Melvin African Culture Art. And all you have to do is go to my page and like it and leave a message. And then I will return your message with the link of when I will be given the uh, surprise uh, giveaway. So, it'll be something for everyone, and uh, I'm pretty sure you would like all the stuff that I'm giving out every month for free. All my art was, it be on a greeting card, and I will be giving that out as well as a surprise box of toys for kids. Now, I hope you continue and join yourself with the comedy, and then I would uh, put some music as well, and back to uh, comedy. So this is just to break things up while you watch me painting uh, a series of African culture heritage uh, work on a 16 by 20 
oil stretcher canvas. And this is letting you know uh, how my ancestors, uh, how we was forced here to America from our homeland to the slave ship, to the auction, and to all kinds of other stuff. So all this will be on a canvas and I'm painting it right now and while you listening and watching me uh, this is what I'm doing and this is very educational for kids and everyone because this is not being taught into the uh, schools so this is for you so I want you to continue watching this enjoy the uh, comedy and the music while you watch me paint and give you the education of our culture of how we was forced and brought here because you have to understand or know your history and your culture because if you don't uh, you would be misled to where you're going now especially if you have reach high places into your employment and maybe the president so this is great for you so continue watching the show and uh, enjoy the music and I will come back on uh, a little later to let you know about the same uh, thing in terms of surprise giveaway on my Facebook page
Thank you for watching my show. I hope you enjoyed it. It was very educational, uplifting, and inspiring to everyone, to anyone that was watching. Like I said, I'm on Facebook and I give a surprise giveaway every month and you might be or could be a winner. So click below, follow and like and I will give you more information once you get there so that way you'll know when is my live giveaway. Visit my website Black Art Perspective and check out all the artwork that I have as well. So again, my Facebook page, Melvin African Culture Art, visit that and watch my show every Monday and Wednesday, Cable Vision 68, Verizon 5042 and 43 at 1 a.m., 11 a.m., and again at 4 p.m. So, I really hope you enjoyed it, and thank you again for watching the Artistic Talent Show with your host, producer, and artist, Melvin Isaac. Bye, enjoy your day.